The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling a problem with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials down 50. Nasdaq's off 13. S&P's are off 5. Gold contract up $10 at 1302. You have silver up three cents, seventeen dollars and eight cents. Platinum up seven bucks, nine eighty-one. You got copper flat, two ninety-three a pound. Light sweet crude off eighteen cents, forty-six dollars ninety-one cents a barrel. Notes, ten-year note up seven ticks, one twenty-six thirty. Thirty-year bond up fifteen ticks, one fifty-six oh four. King dollar down a buck seventy-four, ninety-three point three seventy. The euro is at 117 and a half to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 108 and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. And someone went to the Sherwin Williams store and got some red paint yesterday, Tom. <laughs> they went to a lot of stores and got some red paint. They they definitely did. That's for sure. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at this market out here. So, folks, uh, you, you take a look at the. Doesn't matter what you bring up uh, from yesterday. Take a look at the spy. We had with the spy. Spy comes down. Well, first off, on Wednesday, you try to get higher, 56 million shares. You blast down lower with 128 million yesterday. Takes out the swing point from the 10th, which was 120. You turn around, and all these, you should just stop putting these on weekly so you can see what you have happening here. You're going to have an expansion of volume. You're coming into uh, 400 million at uh, 239. You know, we're not going to hit 239 today. I don't think we are anyway. Um, you know, right now we're at uh, 337 million. So at 337, your probability is pretty good that you're going to be hitting, coming into the lower swing with over 400 million. That's saying that you're getting, you're getting some force on the way down. Um, we got to we take a look at the uh, the queues. Same type of setup inside the queues. Uh, queues out here. The swing point we're talking about is uh, 140.89. You are at 141. We already hit 140.65, and that baby's you know going to have definitely have going to more volume because you get uh, we're at 175 million right now, and you're only going into 194. Sure. So um, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness uh, out here. The the strength uh, is Goldman. That's up. Uh, that's putting 13 positive points in the Dow. JP Morgan's putting three, Walmart's putting two. Taken away from it, uh, Nike's taking 19 points away, Home Depot nine, 3M eight, and a, a, the whole uh, Foot Locker. Where do you see yeah. this? Oh, I saw it. Oh yeah, you probably reported it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Look at this, baby. That's that's pretty intense. Down eleven dollars and seventy-one cents, folks. Yeah, you're talking about eleven dollars when the stock's only trading at forty-six yesterday. So you're I know. looking at twenty-five, twenty-eight percent as it approaches. Um, and yeah, far cry from almost eighty dollars back in April. That's intense. Huh? Yeah. I mean, seriously, man. That's this is. And so that's where the likes of Foot Locker, uh, yep. excuse me, Nike, and even Under Armour, if you want to go to them, they're yep. they're struggling as well this morning off of that same news. Yeah, because if you have your distributors. You know, going down Foot the tubes. isn't selling anything. No. And they certainly aren't selling Nike and Under right. Armour. They, they had a lot of their products. And they don't make anything. Exactly. Right. Foot, exactly. Foot Locker is the distributor. Right. Exactly. You know? yeah. So pretty intense. Yeah. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Let's see. NDX. So the strength is Ross Stores. That's up 10%. AMAT 2. Um, Alta. It's interesting Alta. how those different retailers went. Jump to Ross. Why not? Sure. Yeah. Because it is interesting how it all is. the retailers aren't getting hit, right? No, no. It's the same. It's well, it's it's a, it's a deal that people want deals. If they you know gonna want them, you know, you know this is this stock that got hit. You know, went from 69 down to 52, but now it's at 58. That's sure. not that's that's really no. good compared to the rest of retailers. Definitely, right? Definitely. Let's see. Um. Shia down two percent. You know the Nasdaq's not that bad, really. Cisco's down one point four. Mattel is down one point uh, two. 
So you're going to come into a Friday, folks. You're coming into a weekend. And the real question is going to be, uh, you know, we've had plenty of one-day wonders. Is this going to be another one- or two-day wonder? Um, and last night I was making the argument that if you take a look at this, let's see, I'll put the spy up. What has happened is that the selling has got closer in the context of how this is shaken out. So if we go back to May, you're going to see that, to me, May was the first warning shot. And it was only the NDX, uh, I mean, the NASDAQ that actually got hit in May. The S&P come down, we had to share. So if we look at May, you, you come down the 17th and 18th, and then the market shakes it off, man, goes to a new high, doesn't even come down again, you know, with volume until the 20. 9th of June, comes down 29th of June, shakes it off again. Then what you have comes down last week with volume, only could hold four days, comes, <coughs> comes down selling again. Yeah. Um, the, the queues, it's kind of even, it's more evident inside the queues, I'd say, that when, when the chart actually got broken. You know, the 17th and 18th, you come down, really good volume. You go up, and then that's, the, the 9th was destruction. Sure. And the S&P, the Dow didn't even get hit, well, it hit the day, but hardly. NASDAQ was well, a big one. Yeah. It was. We, I mean, even yesterday, so they, the NASDAQ's more volatile. Yesterday, yes. the NASDAQ almost did 2%. You know, right. The other indices weren't at 2%. Right. They were right. at 1% or right. 1.2%. Or, no, you know, totally. Yeah. And if we bring the Dow up, now, now the Dow is busted, though. You know, the, well, busted to the point that, you know, I'm not looking for a disaster down here. It first would have to come down and get inside the range. And inside the lower range, uh, well, I guess this is, this is closer than I thought. <laughs> I know, I was going to say. That's, that's so awful. funny how fast yeah. it can come. Yeah. You know, because it'd be 21,681, and we're at 21,693. Right there. Yeah. yeah, so. We're at the higher, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, this, this, this baby out here today, um, you, we finish at these lows, which I suspect the, the way this market is trading right now, um, you got until about 11, 11.30, of the bulls and bears fighting to see whether they can get this thing flat to, you know, I don't, I don't see a bounce, but the amount of energy that it took yesterday to go down, that's a lot of energy, man. Definitely. You know, it's a lot of energy in the marketplace. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the GDX. So the gold, the GDX, all of the above, the GDX just took out its swing point. Let me see what we did yesterday. So yesterday it did 38 million, prior day 50. You're going into... 32 and you're going into 63. Okay, it's going to launch it though. It's going to, GDX is on its way to 2386. You're at 2336 right now. ABX, which is the largest weighting structure, is laying right at the top of range. That's going to need a lot more volume to get over that baby. And the gold contract, uh, you know, bottom line, this has been building cars for a long period of time. Um, Yesterday, it had 307,000 contracts, I think, which is huge. 330,000 ended up yeah. doing. So, and we're going to do that kind of volume today. We've already yeah. done 219,000. Now, that's what you need in order to bust these because it's a, it's a, hard, it's a hard place to bust because... Right at those levels. Yeah, and, and it's because... See, when we came down, October and November was vicious. And we put this on a weekly, which you're going to see... It wasn't just right there. Mm -hmm. October, we went from 13.16 to 12.49, made it back up there, and then gave it up in spades. Big time. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, Give us a call, folks. And if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. See the banner on the top of the side. You can hit the banner. Bring up the exchange to put $25,000 of paper money into your account. And you can uh, walk along with us as we uh, trade these defined option contracts. Uh, now, if we go over it for a second and take a look at the bond. This is going to get intriguing because... This is laying right next to the highs. So the high that we're talking about is 127.08. We've hit 127.01. It looks like you're gonna get at least over a million contracts today. We're at 585 now. We did 1.3 yesterday. <coughs> Excuse um, me. That's a, that's a good number, man. That's a good number. That's, uh, so, 2.1 75 right now is the 10 year. And for the last six months, well, I think it's six months, let me see. Yeah, last six months is 2.126. And that was low. I suspect yeah. that that's that high. You know what I mean? That that, that is trying to take out right now. When we, when we got Sorry, to. Sorry, I lost you there. Okay, so. The low and the high, that's right. Th see this 2.126? Yes, that's the low for the last six months. Yeah, so yeah. when we look here, that. Okay, that's is, the low in the rate versus the high of where the bond yeah, is trading. Yeah, right, which, is, tr which is trying okay. to get into sure. right now, that yeah. 127.08. That would make sense, totally. You know, we, if we take that out, folks, you're going to get some big action, you know. And, yeah. you know, that, that the volatility, no doubt, uh, is back, back in this market. Uh, when you come over and when you take a look at the Nadex platform, you know, there's a lot of different things on this platform that you can trade. Whether, you know, you're looking at, Commodities, whether you're looking at the indices, whether you're looking at um, currencies, right? The currencies, right? Um, I've been trading the S and P lately. That we all know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so funny. It's it's funny that I just I, I moved from the Nasdaq to the S and P. Sure. Um, just just happened. I did. And you know, there's there's different size contracts. Like right now, I I, I traded an eight to a ten. 8 a.m. until 10 a.m.? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. No, but you, you, and that's closed. Those are already closed, okay, right? I now you I got a 10 a.m. to 12. Sure. And, you know, this one here, it would be interesting how this shakes out because it was, these are all 10.1s, right? Yes. 
So what happens is that when they first open up, folks, you're paying, you know, you're paying some good premium on these basically when they first open up. Depending on where they are, you might be paying no premium if they open up in the middle. If they, yeah, Just to, right, it all right. depends on where they are, not what time they open at. There's going to be more time premium, That's but it's right, actually right. dependent on where they are. Right. No matter how much time is left, right. if it's trading at the middle of that box, it's, there's going to be no premium. That's just right. Just to put right. Yeah. So what happens is that the aspect and where we are right now, this is where it's you have to decide that okay, like the first ones, eight to ten, I went deeper in, into the money. Do you know what I mean? I didn't go. What well, that meant, I didn't go to the. You could have got the 25. Let's see. What was what was the S and P? It's I, okay when you say it, yeah. E S U seven. Here, one second. Let me. You know, you're dealing with a 10 point S and P spread, so maybe what you're saying is you were weren't outside of that box too far. I wasn't. Right. I, I was inside I mean, it actually right. on the first one. Sure. You know, I was inside it. Uh, this one here, I was inside it by a point and a half to two points. Okay. But that's dangerous because of the fact that you get outside it and you lose everything. And you know sure. what I'm saying? You know. So. Sure. Um, I, and what ends up happening, of course, on, on a day like after yesterday, you can almost expect some kind of a, a bounce, except the aspect that you're still coming into a, a weekend. So I suspect a lot, the first couple hours we're going to get some uh, nice volatility. What has happened is that the, the NASDAQ got a little bounce going, for sure. And yeah. that's, that's, you have to watch out that you know, the NASDAQ will drag up the S&P. Sure. We were higher pre-market, but then fell down and then right around yeah. you know, 950 you're looking at yeah it was the low this morning and then from there we've risen and the real question is going to be do folks want to go home long over the weekend um, do they see the Nasdaq down two percent yesterday as a buying opportunity right right or do they see and it as time to get out of Dodge and every time they, so what has happened there's buying no, opportunity yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's no doubt I mean it's like you, you, as they say in a lot of things works every time until the last time until it doesn't yeah, yeah no well, no, not even until the last time. As in, you know, you just double down, double down, double down, but it's that's the last time because that's it. Right. As in, you're out. You know, you, right. you lose big time if you keep. You know right. what I'm saying? It's not. That's right. Not until the next time, till the last time, because right. you 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 know, as in, you parlay that stuff every time oh. it drops. Well, you're building a bigger, bigger position there, right? So it's like you really get hurt oh, when yeah. it doesn't do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. that's that's where the banks have it made with unlimited amounts of money, folks. That they. Funny money, there's a double, 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 you know, it's like, okay, they grind you to death. So if we go over to the the dollar index, folks, this dollar still wants to bounce. Now, this is pretty wild looking, watching this. It's like, okay. So you can see yesterday, you know, we got to 93,995, 40,000 contracts. That's that's good, but gave Definitely. it up in price. Um, today, you know, if this can't break down under this 93,210, you know, you're probably going to have light volume in the pullback. You know, you're coming into how he came off. That's two Fridays ago that the dollar finally came off the low. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And then, you know, that would be a test on light volume. We'd be still saying that, hey, guess what? We want a uh, higher price. So, yeah. A lot of moving parts. One of the big moving parts out here. Let's go see what Deer said. I was looking yeah. at Deer. Deer's down 10 bucks. Yep. So... Let's see. There you, go. there you go. Right here. So, okay, so. So, net income was $641 million yeah. for $1.97 a share for the third quarter, compared with $488 million. This is the last year, I'm guessing. Okay. Yep, but that's not. For the first nine months of this year, net income attributable to, attributable to dear. Deer and Company was 1.64 billion. Not a bad company. Wow. Um, 511 a share compared with 1.239. Quite a year they had in terms of man. You know, you grow the company like that, and guess what? Market had higher expectations. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just jumping through here. Worldwide net sales and revenue increased 16 percent, 7.8 billion for the third quarter. And increased 8% to $21 billion for the first nine months. That's not a bad revenue number. Net sales of equipment operations, $6.8 billion. And I wonder where the expectations I are. I know. That's all right. We'll go back and see where. Because here's, I mean, talk about revenue they beat. Let's see yeah. what this one says. What were their earnings? Yeah, they beat earnings as well. One, one, 197 versus 195. 
Mark it croaked them. So I'm guessing maybe there's some expectations in right. there about forward-looking statements of what they're expecting. Um, yeah, we'll see. But there's something in there that we haven't seen yet because the market as a whole is Look, not liking that news. And this is what gets dangerous. So last time they came out with numbers, gapped up. It was trading 111, gapped up the following day to 122. This time... You closed yesterday at 123, and it gaps down to 112. Quite a roller coaster. And the top, this is what's crying. The, the, the top of that gap is 113.52. Sure, we're there right now. Yeah. Now, the danger is that when you come down this hard, uh, yeah. you know, this probably has 104 written on it. Not today. No, I'm just I saying that's not far. Is, that's no, only no, the same, no, move. This that, is the same move we had that, in the last 12 hours. That's, right? a, that's a blink of an eye. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now down 47. NASDAQ is off one and a half. S&Ps are down four. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger's TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This is segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, we have the Dow down 62. NASDAQ off about five and a half. S&P's off five and a half. And um, volatility's out here, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, actually, let's look at that. You know, when I woke up and I heard Dow futures were up like seven points, yeah. S&P's were up something, you know, three, four. Right. I said, ah, maybe it's going to trickle back up, right? Right. But not quite. You know, we'll see. So if we go over and we take a look at the VIX, folks, what you're going to see here... 
uh, is also fast movement and fast, you know, <laughs> you're down, you, we got to, uh, what, 17.28 last week, got crushed down to 11.25, uh, and very quickly, you're right back up at these levels. Now, the thing that's going to be intriguing watching this today is that, is it going to be staying up there? You know, uh, because what will have, what, if, if in fact it stays up there, that's just saying that the, the premiums inside these options are staying and people are paying for insurance up at these levels. They're not only staying, they're going up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our man Tom, I'm sure he's elated because when he called us yesterday, uh, on the day before, he was down there at 1654. It's a few big days in the VIX. Oh my God. Yeah. Look, at, look at that. That's, yeah. that's pretty intense, man. Yep. Yeah. No, no doubt about that. Some of the uh, higher volume stocks in this market out here, folks, uh, as we mentioned, Foot Locker, that's, that's getting a little bit more. It's almost down $12 now. Uh, Nike, as we'll pull up Nike. Nike's down two seventy-five. Yeah. Uh, Rosto is the big one. That's up, up five and a quarter. Definitely. Uh, NKE. Oh, look at that, too. Yeah, and that's all Foot Locker, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So Nike, folks, did the same thing, meaning it come out with numbers, Good numbers, evidently. It gap well. The market gapped it from fifty-two dollars up to fifty-six. Yesterday, we're at fifty-seven. It's going to try to finish the gap. Close, sure. close the gap now. That's pretty. That's pretty. Still not a bad <laughs> setup, right? Yeah, no, you for know? sure. And they might be okay. We've talked about, you know, they're a premium brand in the likes of. Right. Maybe they're going to be able to weather this, but. Maybe they, they need to do a little managerial shifting of where they're selling their products yeah. because they're not going to be selling them at Foot Locker and making billions, that's for sure, it looks like. you know? No, well, yeah. you remember the last two at our house, the last about three at Christmas, right? Yeah, well, you got them online, right? Right from Nike. Because yeah. what Nike does now, folks... Can you pull up the chart again as you yeah. talk about it? Because yeah. I think their earnings were reflected in that chart where they got a boost because yeah. that's where they talked about that they're going to sell directly to Amazon, I think. Yeah. Um, there was some good news, actually, when they came out with their own earnings. Um, what are we looking at here? No, can I put it on daily, please? Just so I want to see the day that okay. I think it stuck out that they actually came out with their earnings. Okay. That's, I think it was this day. I see, okay. To say I could okay. be wrong, but they had announced something like that and yep. just put, and they talked about exactly like you're talking about. You ordered them online. Yeah. You know, you could... Uh, and they're great. I have a pair. I wear them all the time. Right. And, you know, you can design them a little bit. You can put your name on them if you want. Yeah. Um, so I have Tiger Tom. He does have Tiger Tom. <laughs> of course he does. So everybody knows who's walking around the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. But we'll see. They have the right... I didn't buy them for myself, folks. <laughs> you might have picked that name for yourself. Did you? I picked a name for myself a long time ago. I didn't okay. Pick. Not for the shoes, though? No. Okay. No. <laughs> It would have been good. Hey, yeah. Right, listen. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Tiger oh, Tom. Perfect. Wow. Totally. Okay. So, um, oh, this, let's, let's see what's going on with Harmony Gold. So Harmony, let me see this here. Harmony, it's up 11 cents. It's taken out a little swing point. Quite gap, a week for gold. Yeah. This, this gapped higher today, 182. So let's see what they're doing. So, bullion rises. Gold's yeah. above 1300 That's a big number mentally. We've been hitting that number a lot. Yeah, we have. Man. Yeah. We have. So they're, they're still, Harmony's looking for acquisitions, so we'll see We'll see how that shakes out. But um, the GLD. Okay, this is, there we go. Now, 123.31. We had volume of $10 million. Oh, this is good. So right now, folks, the GLD is climbing with 3.5 million. The last two highs, we had 10 million, 10.7. That would have a shot to do that today. And then the prior one was 8.4. So that's... Yeah, see how the day shakes out. Yeah, oh, look, at how, look at how long it's been taken to try to get through that October and sure? November downdraft. Sure. That takes a lot of buying, folks, because yeah. there's so much selling. That supply I, line. I just, I mean, we've jumped in the price of gold itself from 1300 to 1200. It's oh, been yeah. these peaks and the troughs. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you know the. We'll bring this. I guess let's try two years. Yeah, that's that's the number. If we if we launch it, if, if you know if we, if we can launch this area, it's going to be impressive because I don't if. Because of the supply line, it was so large, meaning the supply line in gold is from June of 2016 over to 
November of 2016. Not that that's that huge, but it is because gold, the gold market's so small. It's like when you stay sure. up at high, people buy highs, unfortunately. Sure. Do you know what I mean? So there's a lot of people in a losing position up sure. there. So they're just saying, hey, I want to get my money back. Sure. You know? Um, we bring this back a little bit further, you're going to see that, you know, actually, I see, yeah, I see, it's, the supply line is even larger than that. But we're coming into that, it's almost as far as you want to go. And, uh, oh, 800. I was going to jump there. You made me to it. I was going to say, you know what? It seems like maybe it's a good time for you to have a, a sale for your gold report with $1,300 gold and action. What do you say? Yeah, totally. So, 800th issue on Monday. What are you going to do this weekend? Yeah, I'm going to celebrate. Gonna, what's going to be in there, exactly? I, you know, it's pretty amazing, man. Just in, in the context of that 15 and a half years can go so quick. It's actually 15.38 years. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, so the, what the promotion is, folks, is that you can get 60 weeks of the gold report for $600, which is only $10 a week. Yep. Which is half price, because gold report is $85 a month. Uh, if you're... Sorry about that. That's all if right. If you're... Um, a subscriber right now, you can get it if you want to be a new subscriber, you know, check it out on the front page of TFN. Definitely. Open a current people, new people, go there, fill it out. You can use your Tiger Dollars. So basically 14 months for $600, you'll be paid through, what's today? What's today? What month is it? It's August. So you'd yeah. be good through October of 2018, man. Gold Report 1000, coming in four years. Time. Time, Time is a funny crazy. thing. So yeah. what do we get going on with the S&P right now? 2224, kind of hanging around. You're, yeah. right, you're right in the um, upper band, kind of where current market's at 242260. And it looks like you got in at 242160. So right. about a dollar per contract, $10 per contract. And uh, you have till noon. Plenty of time. No, that is plenty of time. But particularly, I like how the market is operating right now. Like it already. I bet it, you do. Well, it already tried. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's look at it. It, it was higher pre-market. So what, what, what I mean by that... It, since we've been on, sure. it, it tried to yeah. make the bounce. Get a little boost. Yeah. And it failed thus sure. far. You sure. know? And volume-wise, it failed. So we were going into 133,000 contracts. We did 56,000. Now, I'll get a better understanding when this 10-minute bar ends, because what I'd like to see is that if I get more than 56,000 on this con on this 10-minute bar here, then that's going to say that you do have some more selling pressure downtown. I'm not sure because we're at 40,000. I think we got about a minute or two. So you mm -hmm. need a big minute here. Yeah, so I won't, we won't get it. Yeah. We won't get it. We won't get it. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now at, uh, down 63. S&Ps are off 2.5. No, S&Ps are down 4.5. NASDAQ's down 2.5. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. 
Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down uh, 49. The Nasdaq's up four. S&Ps are up uh, uh, three and a half. Let's go to our man, Tom in Plymouth. What's going on, brother? Hey, good morning, Tom and Tommy. <laughs> good morning, Tom. <laughs> Happy Friday, man. Today? Yeah, buy, sell, hold, buy more, sell more. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've traded this TVIX the last few uh, few days here. That's a beautiful oh, thing, my. man. Yeah, it is. I keep thinking. Uh, yesterday I called you, but I had to go because it was too – it was – it was going so fast. I was like, oh, man, I got, I got to pay attention here. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you had a one-way ride yesterday, which is a beautiful thing. I think I was in three times yesterday. Yeah. And when, it, when, yeah, when you get the trend you know, right, you're King Kong. Just yeah, it's stop, funny. Right. It's nice one. Yeah. It can be uh, the opposite pretty quick. Too. Oh, you yeah. Never know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to keep that in your back of your mind though, all the time. Always. Anyway. Right. Yeah, I think you guys already kind of discussed the TVIC, so... Uh, I told them maybe we can look at the U-Gas. U-G-A-Z. I was in that yesterday, too. I got out. So this is the, the Velocity three times long natural gas ETN. Um, okay, so this is, uh, let's see. A little bit of appreciation with natural gas yesterday, yeah. right? You were in right. Yeah, it wasn't much. It was it was just a little bit, but right, you know, just a few I, pennies, I like two ninety to like two ninety three. Something. Yeah, let me, let me pull. Well, I had it at I think it was two sixty something. I had it from the 12, 12 60 something, eleven sixty something, whatever it was, and it uh, it jumped up. Yeah, I, you know, I, I think that's going to be a good vehicle to trade for the next couple months because it looks like gas wants to go higher. It, I mean, it's a little early. I see it got a few waves coming off the of, uh, coast of Africa there at you. Uh, they'll be in the Caribbean probably next week or something. So You're who knows? Man. That, I heard that this uh, morning. You're a I, kid. <laughs> I what? Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, I did. When it, what's happening, folks, is that the fruit, there's, a, there's a storm here that's not going to touch us. But with the one, the one that Tom just talked about, yeah, they were reporting on this this morning. And yeah, I just remember when it was coming in. It's like, okay, stay away from us. That's right. <laughs> but it's out there. Exactly. Yeah. There's a few that'll be out there. This is the time, you know? So. Yeah, well, I don't want and, you uh, saying any Hail Marys, man. <laughs> no, I'll say Hail Mary for, for you guys. <laughs> Thank uh, you. The, uh, <laughs> that, uh, yeah, listen, it, it looks, handy. you know, the, the, the gas thing looks pretty good, man. I mean, you know, I wouldn't be yeah. buying it today, but, you know, it looks like every time it comes to the bottom of his brain, just like, okay, you, you know, you get some action. Yeah, and... Yeah. Uh, you know, it won't be long. Uh, I think we got a little reprieve of summer here again. It's supposed to be in the 90s uh, next week, so um, who yeah, knows? That, and then and maybe it'll put itself to sleep. And that'll be like your last through. hurrah up there, probably. Be yeah, close it to will it. be. Yeah, it's close, yeah. 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 End of be, before you know it, it'll be on us. You know. Before you know it, you'll be calling saying it. Uh, getting chilly up there but you, you guys yeah. are coming into the best time of the year up there too well one oh, of the yeah. best the spring is beautiful too but the fall is amazing up there yeah. yeah this is a perfect week right here 
Yeah, especially where you are, man. What happens down the Cape, folks, I think, then what? The water gets, is it the water that gets a little bit warmer? They, 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 they're warmer than Boston, like the further well, you get Boston down the Cape. It doesn't get too warm because of the, you know, the bay, you know? But, yeah, uh, right. It warms up in several areas, but uh, you got to go on the other side to get some warm water on the, the Gulf side, you know? Cool, man. Yeah. Well, you yeah. might as well just take your well, money and run, man. Have you know? Yeah, so I kept thinking of that yesterday. I said, you know what? I'm getting out of this thing, and I'll look at buying it. I, I said, I know what he's going to tell me. If you're up that much, just take it and go. Now, you know? what are you going to do? You know, your, your account yourself, you should, you should grab 20 or 30% out of your account and go do something with it, man. Go buy it. I think I should. I, I'm thinking about that. We were talking about that yesterday in uh in November, I think I'm gonna gonna come down to Florida, so I might swing in on you guys if I get a day. I'll it's let a you know. It's a good time of year to make that trip, man. Yeah, totally. Tell yeah, me. do it. Yeah, my brother my brother in law is right there in uh, Bradenton, so he's uh. Oh, is he? He's going down for two weeks. Yeah, in, uh, come down and visit us, man. We'll, perfect. Perfect. we'll put you right on. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Watch out. You'll get right in the middle of us. Watch out. Oh boy. <laughs> the three T's. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Cooking, well, brother. Anyways, guys, have a great weekend. Have Thanks. a great Thanks. song, uh, you too. Hey. Yep, take care. Thanks. Let's go to Tim in Denver. Hey, Tim, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy and Tom, how are you guys doing this morning? You're doing good, yeah, man. You yourself? Doing? Great. Hey, that dust was a nice little pop the other morning, too. That I think I called you about the nugget. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, I was kind of looking at dust, too, and I think it, like, popped $2 the next day. It was a... Okay. Turned into a nice, nice little trade. Good. <laughs> but, good. You know. Some volatility. Anyway, that's you listen. It's trading both sides of those. A good scene. You know, as long as you. Oh, this is. This, we're. Uh, I think we're in for a, a good, what. I don't know here. <laughs> I don't know why. I, uh, you know, it, it, what Tim's talking about, folks, is that when you trade both sides of a market and you get volatility, if it, if it's going to be volatility for a year, yes, it because then. If you even have a bearish outlook, you're bearish, but when you're bearish, you, you're collecting the money, and then you're going long, too. You know sure. what I mean? Just you're flipping those positions, because you know that nothing is down forever, nothing is up forever, you know? Well, I mean, it's crazy. I've kind of, the last few years, I've, I've left the S&P, uh, all those alone. I've got just the gold, biotechs, and, uh, you know, yeah. uh, oil. That's all. We you need know, movement. All you need. I, listen, if you trade, you need movement, I know. Because if you don't have movement, you can get in trouble real quick, man. You know? I mean, I haven't touched the S&P and all that for, I don't know, three or four years. And The first time I hit the S&P was only last week. Yeah. Now I'm hooked on the S&P. There we go. <laughs> I mentioned, you mentioned the S&P the other day. And I've been hearing a few other people I've been listening to. Or, and so it is key to get interesting now. But uh, anyway, uh, hey, can you look at this stuff? The stock's getting crushed here. Did you, did you get the symbol there? Century Leak, right? Yeah. That is just crushed. Let's take a look. So it's a communication. This is a long distance carrier, right? Yeah, it looks what it looks like. Broadband. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, you know your. It's a. Yeah, something's wrong with it because it's certainly not a Verizon or Ma Bell. I mean, that the Verizon and Ma Bell, the, the equities look pretty good. Um. So do you own no, this? No. no, I don't own it. I mean, it's got a good dividend, and I, I mean, it's, I'm. I'm afraid to buy it right now. Yeah, let's pull it back. I wouldn't buy it. I don't. There's I mean, something that's not right with this stock. I mean, watch. If we put this up, this is breaking all the slows going back to 1990, 1997. Yeah. And now watch. I mean, crazy. yeah. Well, let's let's because Verizon has been a great stock. Well, there more of this. There isn't a lot of cell cell service on this on CTL. Oh. Verizon's more your cell. This is more of a landline. Oh. Uh, like, like uh, somebody who mentioned yeah, Frontier broad, and all That's that. Right. That's, are you guys... Let's see. Well, so they, they got their own problems because of competition. And, broadband. Yeah. You know... Uh, Cloud hosting. You yeah, they, they, no, they're in bad, they're in bad businesses. They're in, you know... The, the cloud hosting is like, okay, you, you're going to compete with Microsoft, Google, and Amazon? <laughs> like, yeah. wow, okay? Now, the only thing I liked about it is they're su supposedly going to buy Level 3, which is a backbone provider of fiber, which is, that's, that's cool. Yeah, well. But well, I'm trying to figure out where you'd start. It's a little bit of a fallen thing. knife, I think. Right? Yeah. 
I think you gotta throw that off the Rocky Mountains, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a hard time reading it, but stay right there, well, Tim. We'll come, come right back. More on it, we'll come, come right back. Okay. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. So we're talking about our man Tim from uh, Denver, and we were talking about CenturyLink. You know, Tim, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch that thing, man. You there? Oh, we lost him. I think we lost him. Maybe he's already in there yeah. making sure he sold whatever he had. No. Yeah, <laughs> I know not. he's just looking for yeah. an entry. I'm just kidding. It's pretty interesting, though, though that this is like... So bad, huh? But and when he said landline, it's a that makes sense. Well, that's what you right. know. I, I right. wish I knew a little bit more about the right. company because I guarantee that, like we're talking about, there's more going on there yeah. to be approaching levels that they haven't seen since nine, 1997. 1997. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. You know, you stay right there, folks, because of course we got our swim lessons coming up next, um, and then uh, we're going to be replaying this. Yeah, Basil, man. Basil's, Basil's, Basil may be jetting into a early weekend. You know, okay. Falmouth Road Races this weekend too. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, cool. There, so okay. Hopefully that wow. goes well. That was always a and fun so weekend. that yeah, and that's yeah, and that's when Tom was just saying they have heat next weekend. That's why I thought I said, oh, that's going to be pretty good because this is when you, you get like one or two cold days up there. Yeah, not cold well, days, nah, but well, <laughs> you know, they did get some eighty degree or seventy eight degree weather the last week or week before. Okay. That's pretty cool for middle of August. Yeah, no, no, no doubt. Yeah. 
And then, of course, uh, we're going to go to uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Uh, real kick is going to be, uh, you know, what, what kind of uh, clothes we have out here. You know, you, you've clothes uh, at these lows. Uh, the spy's in the lower range right now. It's, you know, pretty evident. Sure. Um, you know, so the spy is a shot at, you know, next week going after 239. And then, of course, you're going to, then the, the next leg down there is uh, the 18th of May. It's a far cry from where we are right now. Man, it, we, I know, and that Dow yes. went so fast, it's like, yeah. they all go fast. The elevator is much faster on the way down. Stay right there, folks. Swim lessons coming back, coming right up. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.